used it. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. So much has been going on. The Dragonborn Gallery robbed. A civil war taking place in Skyrim. And now dragons also returning from the dead. I'm back at the throat of the world. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech. Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the Time Wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Alright, I'm returning the Elder Scroll here to the throne of the world and the time wound. I've come alone. I don't want anyone else endangered. Alright, I think this is the spot. Alright, here it is. It took me a while to rummage through my satchel and find it. But here it is, the Elder Dragon Scroll. All right, here goes everything. beyond the blooding of your blade. <laughs> what else is there? The battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Aldun hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? We blooded him well. Four of his kin have fallen to my blade. None yet stood against Aldo and himself. Golf, Sori, Birkin. They did not have Dragonrand. Once we bring him down, I promise I will have his head. You do not understand. Aldo cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Sword. Well, then, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, we are not needed to deal with Alduin ourselves. Fear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. Is that him? Is that Alduin? This is. Dragon Red! What have you done? What How is this possible? 
You give up. What? Stop. It 
looks like he was restored to full health and he's escaping. Parthenax, what's going on? Lot Kongrach. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Ni livrach hin moro. True, this is not the final Krongrach. Victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Well, I don't know. The Jarl of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm, yes. But your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. So, you're telling me that Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught. But the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet, Pak. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Sum Ark Mora. Alright, thank you for this information. I'm gonna be off now. In the skeever hole of a city. Jarl! May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Is there an echo in here? You heard right. It's the only way to stop the dragons. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin? The World Eater himself? But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Well, maybe so. But I plan to go down fighting. What about you? No Nord could have said it better. I'll stand beside you, Dragonborn. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. What? Do you think the Stormcloaks will sit idle while this dragon is slaughtering my men and burning down my city? No. 
I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Well, what if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Hmm, you may be on to something. I'm supposed to be reporting to one of the forts even as we speak to wage war. If we could bring an end to the violence. But that's almost unthinkable. All right then, leave that to me. I'll talk to Ongear about hosting a peace council. Aye, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Keep safe. All right, thank you. Ongear? Ongear, are you here? Oh, he's sleeping. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to wake you. Alduin? We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? Well, no. And he escaped. I need to find his portal to Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. No, I the don't. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. You misunderstand that your passivity has to come to an end. Jarl Balgruf won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Okay, you know they do. That's why I'm here in the first place. Sky? Got you. All right. Damn faithless Imperials. Maybe you've seen masts sticking out of the water to the northeast. Oh, Frick. That would be the wreck of yes. the war. Yes. Make it quick. I'm a busy man. You're not the only one that's busy, and I'm tired of that attitude. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the Dragon Attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Right. Politics be damned! Alduin has returned! Alduin? The world eater of song and legend? If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. All right. Thank you. I'll see you there. General Tullius! General Tullius! 
Were the rebels to gain control, the silver mines would give them All right. a coin to hire more. I need you to look me in the eye when violence. I talk to you, General. There's not much up there. General, I have a General, be quiet. I have a message from the Greybeards. Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Rothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. All right. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now! Uh, you may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. By all accounts, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as badly. Even Ulfric might see the sense of a truce under these conditions. Then you're gonna come to the Peace Council? Yes, yes fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. All right, thank you, and I'll see you there. Oh, I just received the, the word that the attack on Fort Greenwall has been called off. I might be making a difference after all. All right, let me get back to... The Greybeards. Oh good, I don't have to search the premises looking for Ongear. Ongear! So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. In these halls, whose very stones are dedicated to peace, I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. You mean they're here already? This was the only way to get Balgroove's help. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. All right. Um, does anybody want to show me the way? All right, I guess I'll just have to find it on my own. Thank you. Thank you for nothing. Oh, look! A full conference room. You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the dragon in our doors. Is that Ellen Wynn? It is. Oh no, does she recognize me? Ellen Wynn? And so we meet again. Yes. But this time I know who and what you really are. <laughs> I fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> All right, I'm glad to see that you could make it. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to have a seat. If anyone else would like to sit down, it would be appreciated. Anyone? Am I the only one sitting? Someone? Take your... Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. No, oh, thank you. What? Wait. I hope that we no have one's all sitting. Come here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief talus hunter. That didn't take long. Didn't oh. hear, hear. Well, finally. 
I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. What do you think? Are we going to let Ulfric dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? Hmm. Ulfric has a point. The Thalmor have no business here. Maybe so. We shouldn't be making concessions before negotiations even start. Makes us look weak. You are weak. The sooner you realize it, the sooner we can see the back of you. Be All right. Well, I, I, why am I the one that has to make these decisions? But we can't let Ulfric push us around. So, I mean. I... No, we can't let him push us around. Ellenwyn should stay. Well said. We walk then. What? No, we'll stay. Out of respect for the Dragonborn and our Greybeard hosts. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Ulfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your thumbs and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Well, I think that Ulfric holds nothing worth trading Markarth for. You're right. Ulfric isn't in any position to ask for Markarth. You heard the man, Ulfric. Markarth is off the table. The uh -oh. rabble is on what? the verge of defeat. We have no need of a truce at such a price. I expect a better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, despite your known Imperial sympathies. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. 
Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think this war is nearly won, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. You can trample us underfoot, but we will rise again. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You'll never get a better chance to salvage something from the ruins of your ambition. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's oh. right about what? Alfred, what? we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. If we're not going to get Markar, we need you to give us something. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least put the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth remains allied to the Empire under the authority of Jarl Igmund. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. But once Alduin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember, Evgir Unsla. You should be pleased, Alicent. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yarn. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Mark Elmar, we have a lot of work to do. I admit, I really didn't expect you'd be able to arrange a truce. Getting Ulfric to agree to anything at all is quite an achievement. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can help help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Them, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. And how does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Alduin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. 
I don't know why people think that I beat Alduin. I stunned him at best. So what is this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Od Arvin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. What? Just one by speaking the words, I know the shout. You, you, you know what? The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. What? He deserves to die. But he's been helping I us. To you to kill him until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. All right, Delphine. Delphine. We have nothing to talk about. Oh, but we do. Dead. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn, and return to his old master. Alright, whatever. We'll talk about this later. Good day. And I'm not killing him! Oh, she's got me so flustered, I don't even know where I am. Oh, here it is. Here's the way out. All right. It's time to enact our plan to capture a dragon. Yeah.